This is the TCL D1 Pro Palm Vein Smart Lock. You can see here that uh, it's got a keypad as well. You also have the manual lock. You have an app that can connect with it. The app works with Google, or Android, or smart home uh, devices. It does connect to Wi-Fi. So we're gonna jump into the install and go through all of those different things and uh, walk you through the process of installing. And I'll probably fast forward that. And then we'll go into some of the details about um, creating the code and the password of the master. A few things before we jump in as far as what's in the box. Uh, we will do an unboxing, but there's a front lock, a rear lock, the lock cylinder, the lithium battery that's gonna charge this. Uh, there's two fobs, uh, which is you know basically this little scanner that you can scan. So it has that as well as the key. You've got the screw accessories package, um, video guide card, and then also the built-in instructions. Um, so there's a QR code on the box that you can scan to download the app, it's right there. So we're gonna jump in, unbox this, and walk through all of the steps on how to do this. And then once you have it um, installed, what you can do on both sides of the door to lock it manually, physically, with the code, with your palm, and with the key fob. Let's jump in right now. Okay, so again, this is the TCL D1 Pro Palm Vein Smart Lock. There's like five or six ways that you can unlock this. Once we get it all installed, uh, we will go through everything. So you've got customer service number here. They're open 24 hours. We can reach out to them. So you've got a user manual. You have video guides to kind of walk you through that. I absolutely love this. This is a template to make sure that your door measurements are correct. So I've actually already taken off our old lock and uh, so we'll use this on the new one. So there's a template here. There's also kind of a quick start here to kind of show you how everything goes together. It kind of looks complicated. It is not that complicated. Um, and then it'll show you instructions on how to add a new password. Um, and the password is for that key um, fob and or the six to eight digit uh, code that you can get in. So we'll talk more about that when we get there. So that's all the paperwork. Um, so here you're gonna actually have your keypad. Comes in with all the electronics. And let's get that little piece of plastic off of there. We're eventually gonna take this piece of plastic, we'll leave that there. So this is the palm reader. You can see that there's a little cover there. We're gonna leave that there. Uh, you also put the key fob here in your palm. So you can see all that in the light. This is the battery pack that goes into the backside of the door. When we pull this out, it's a USB right there, USB-C charging port. So here's your two fobs. You can use these to get in. All of your bolts, then your two keys that come with it. So I'm getting more and more stuff. Let's move that out of the way. Here's the lock here. And then the battery actually goes underneath this piece right here. You can see that those are the pins right there. So we'll show you close-ups of all of these things when we put it all together. Profile is not too bad, it's about an inch and a half, right? So this is gonna go on the inside so you can lock it. And then you also have a power button here. So once we get everything connected, Here's your plate right here that will go into the door. And then here's the actual smart lock itself, which has got your deadbolt, your bracket, your frame, plastic cover for the inside of the jam. And then there's your deadbolt itself. So we are going to install all of this. Um, I want to do it in stages, so I may fast forward and get to different points. So from this next step, I'll probably go through, turn down the volume, just fast forward so you can see it. And then I'll probably pause it at different times just to tell you something important that I noticed in the install. Really, all you should need at this point is a screwdriver to take out your old kit and to put this one in. If I see anything else, I will let you know. I'm actually just going to be using a drill and then just a regular handheld screwdriver. Okay, as we get started on the install, just a couple things that I want you to be aware of is they send you a sizing guide. And so you can see here that I've actually pulled out the old lock here and I've already done all the measurements. I've already got everything figured out, but this is pretty much a standard size across the board, right? Both on the inside of the door, the door frame. And so I've already lined everything up. 
So that's something that you'll want to do on your own. The other thing that I highly recommend before you go through the install is they've put in the box a video guide. So it'll kind of walk you through all of the different things, how to pair the device, how to reset it, how to add a password to the fob card, the palm vein, the auto lock, other function settings, but there's also an installation guide. So I've watched that a couple of times. So this may go a little bit quicker. So I'm actually just going to fast forward um, or time lapse the install. But if there is something important after the install, I will tell you. Um, you can also see some of those important things when you watch the uh, install video itself. One of the first things is that you want to make sure that this is turned all the way to 60 millimeters, right? So there's the 70 millimeter mark and the 60 millimeter mark. And then there's also right here, you can see where it says up. This is the side that you want to go up when we put this in. So you want to make sure that you have that where you need it. So as we're putting this in, we want to make sure that we have the side up that we need up. We've got 60 millimeter and you can see that there were already drill holes here from the previous hole. So if I just pop this out, the holes are already here and this just fits right in that space, the 60 millimeter space, just like that. Next, we have two 25 millimeter screws that we're just going to screw in here. I'm not going to tighten them all the way until we get everything connected. I think that's super important. Anytime you're putting anything together is you don't want to tighten all the screws so you get everything where it needs to go. That way you, have, you don't have to redo work. One of the things that you'll want to do is you'll want to measure the hole right here. So I've already done this and this is 54 millimeters and we already have the 54 millimeter casing. If you have a smaller hole, you can actually take this one off and use this one. Remembering to turn the actual key pin vertical before putting it in and then you're going to have the keypad on the outside of the door. It's funny because I've watched a bunch of videos and nowhere anywhere does it tell you that. So this is what it's going to look like on the inside. You're going to have your two pin holes, your keyhole, and then the electric piece right here. And on the outside, it's going to look just like this. It's going to be flush once we get everything screwed in. You can see that we do have some old drill marks and some things that we're going to need to fix around the outside of this portion. On the back side, you want to put the mounting bracket here and there's two long screws and they are labeled and they're in the, a bag by themselves. And so I'm just going to get them started with my hand. What you'll notice is I've also pulled the electronic piece through the bracket on the bottom right hand side. So it's going to look like this. Again, this is our mounting bracket here. We're going to put the actual lock on this device once we get it drilled in and everything is centered. This is our mounting bracket. So this is what's going to connect to the other side and pull this side in tight right here. So we need to go a little bit tighter. So once you've tightened everything here, this is going to be really, really rock solid here. So let me just, there's the front side or the outside. And then here's the inside close up. So we've got our wiring right here and then we're going to mount the inside lock to this bracket. Before I tighten everything down, I want to make sure that it's level and it's straight. Obviously, we're going to repaint and sand some of this down so that it doesn't look like that we had a previous lock here. But you'll want to make sure that it's even. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit wonky. So this next part, this is where you plug in the power here. And then you want to, again, make sure that this is straight up and down.
and then we're going to screw this into place now that we have it here. Once you have this bottom screw in, you're going to put the little cover here and then you're going to take off the battery pack and you're going to put in these two screws right here, which is going to basically hold the mounting bracket or the battery bracket in place. So we're going to screw these in now. Now, one thing that I recommend before moving forward with anything else is making sure that your deadbolt right here is aligned with the inner frame. So right here. So we've already walked through everything. I've already gone outside and locked it. You don't want to get everything on the door in and then this does not line up. So this plate fit perfectly. I did not use the plate. It does come with a door frame plate um, as well. So this was pre-drilled obviously already. So you want to make sure that those line up and it actually locks both with the key. So I've already tested that uh, and it works great. So you can see that we've got everything mounted here. One of the things I did forget to tell you, there's a little sticky pad right here, the 3M pad back here. So you've got two screws here. You've got one behind here and we're currently on unlock mode. So let's go to the next step. So the next step is fairly simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in our battery, not throw it in, but put in our battery. Like this, and it just locked. So I don't know if you heard that. There we are, we're running a test right now. So we're gonna try it, it said lock failed. So we're gonna go back through and see if we need to align the inside. And this is the part where I was telling you about it. You don't wanna get everything installed on this side. I have to do more work here. So. So the lock works. Part of it is our door. So you can see right here on this door, we've got a little bit of give. And I think that's because of some settling. Um, so the door is locked. So I actually need to figure out something with my door and that's probably with the hinges. So I'll tighten those later, but it's locked. It talks to you. So we've got the battery in, then we just throw on the cover like this and it is currently locked. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna program my fingerprinting, the fobs, the apps, everything like that. And then so what we'll do is we'll open up the door to give you a little bit more light and we'll show you all of this unlocking and locking and everything like that. So right here, if you can see, there we go, get to my arm. There's a reset button right here. And so what I'm actually going to do, not a reset, but a setup button. So I'm actually gonna go through and set everything up and everything is working now. The audio is working. It's gonna say unlocked, right? Locked, it's gonna go through everything. So what I'm going to do is get all the modes set up, um, get the code set up on the outside, and then I'll kind of go through and walk through a video with you and show you how to do all of that. Okay, setting up all of the passwords and everything was very, very, very easy. So let's walk you through some of the ways that you can unlock this door. So number one is you can use basically the key fob. It's an NFC chip. So you can see that it's unlocked. So I'm gonna lock it again. Locked. This is the other chip. Verification succeeded. Unlocked. Locked. We'll use the key. Every time the door locks or unlocks, you're going to get a verbal confirmation of something that's there. So let's lock it here. Lock. And then we have the palm unlock. Verification succeeded. Unlock. To set that up was very easy. There is a camera in here. Uh, unlock. If we want to lock it, we just hit the lock button right here from the outside and that's how we can lock this device. So I'm gonna give you some final thoughts on everything. Um, just so you are aware, these are NFC chips. So you could probably most likely use this with your phone. I have not tried that out if it has an NFC uh, reader there. These are nice, they're elastic, they stay anywhere. You could hide one of these outside of the house depending on which door you have this on. And again, here's the palm. Verification 
which I think is super cool. Uh, if I were to try somebody else, it would not open. So let me just show you what that looks like. So this is one of our sons trying to unlock it with his palm. Just put your hand like right like that. Hold on. Okay, so that was my hand. So the, he, you can see that he can't unlock it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add him and then show you. It's super easy. It'll take about 10 seconds. So we just added his credentials 10 seconds later, just like changing your password. So here's mine again. Verification succeeded. Unlock. So we're going to lock it and this is his. Go ahead. A little bit closer. There you go. Thank you. Awesome. So we'll give you our final thoughts here and I'll turn around and face the camera and kind of tell you a little bit about the install and some of the things I learned and obviously about the lock. So final thoughts on this, guys. I was a little bit worried about the install. The install was super easy. It came with a bunch of different templates and different parts, extra parts, depending on the size of um, your door lock. And as far as the hole, it's pretty drilled. Uh, it does come with a warranty. Um, if you have questions, you can email the company. Uh, the install directions were super duper clear, setting up passwords and codes and fobs and all of that was super clear. You basically have this one step startup guide uh, and then it has a bunch of different QR codes that you could scan in the box. They've clearly listened to their customers, right? And we said, hey, we need help doing all this stuff. So they've sent all that there. Um, as far as the de device itself, super easy to use. I added my teenage son on it, added uh, my wife on it. So we're all on there. We're gonna add some other people, obviously. Setting up a code was super duper easy. Um, the only thing that I would say that I would have liked maybe a little bit different, and maybe it's because it's a newer version and they have to have these, is it maybe not a six digit code. But the beautiful thing about having a long code is if you have littler kids, you can set them up on the palm reading thing, right? So, I mean, it just reads their palm. It's not a fingerprint. It's just a palm reading with the cord. The other thing that I really, really like about this um, uh, lock, right, the TCL Palm Vein Smart Lock D1 Pro, I want to make sure I get all that in there, is the voice, right? So it tells you every time that the door is locked or unlocked. And the thing that's really cool is it has a timer um, on it where it automatically locks out for a certain amount of time. So if you forget to lock it, it will lock by itself at nighttime. Uh, so super appreciative of TCL. And uh, again, final thoughts, five out of five stars. Absolutely fantastic. Includes everything that you need to know to get this bad boy installed.